What's up, metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you're new, please consider subscribing, and if you enjoy this video, hit that like button for me. Today we're going to take a look at a very budget-friendly knife that uh, has a very nice feel to it. Uh, this is the Fox Edge Atrax, A-T-R-A-X. This knife runs about 50 bucks, um, although you can catch them on sale sometimes for around, I think when I ordered this, I got it for like $36, $37, something like that. But regular price is $50, $49.99. It is 8CR13 MOV blade steel. The scales are aluminum. They've been anodized this green color, but there are a couple other variations. And then the hardware is stainless steel, and it has like a gold bronzy anno on it. Stainless steel liners, stainless steel hardware. G10 backspacer. Good looking knife in my opinion. Let that light hit it just right so you can get a good look at it. I think the green with the bronze looks good together. Looks really good together. Ergos on this knife are really good also. Fantastic, actually. And for a budget knife, man, this thing has one heck of a detent. It's stiff, but not overly stiff. It's because it has a flipper also. One thing that did disappoint me in this knife. Well, let's go over to specs and then do some size comparisons. While we're doing size comparisons, I'll tell you what disappointed me about the knife. And it was of my own stupidity. Nothing, uh, um, nothing really wrong with the knife. It's more or less... Uh, I didn't pay attention. I'm trying to find the specs for you on this knife real quick. Because I'm not seeing them anywhere. Uh, bear with me. I, th I had it open, but it's not showing the specs on their website. Okay, here it is. All right, overall length is 6.69 inches. Uh, the blade length is 3.15 inches. The weight is 3.4 ounces. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty lightweight to be all metal construction, you know. No G10 or anything like that. There are some G10 variations of this knife. There are also some variations with uh, VG10 blade steel. Um, and they can go up in price. I've seen some of these selling for like 100 bucks. So uh, some of the more premium versions of it. Um, yeah, it's, it's really good in hand. That's one thing I really like about it. What I don't like, it's not what I don't like about it. It's what got me, what disappointed me, is that when I bought this knife, looking at the pictures, I assumed it was a front flipper. But it is not a front flipper. And that's not there for a stop pin either because it's on. it has internal stop pins. So I don't know why they put that there like that. Uh, you cannot front flip this knife though. I have tried, trust me. Tried and tried and tried. It's just not possible. Plus it's terrible jumping if it was a front flipper. But uh, yeah, it doesn't need to be there because it's not hitting a stop pin inside. The stop pins, there's a uh, stop pin track in there. And stop pins are part of the blade, and they're, it's riding on the internal stop pins. So, yeah, kind of odd that's there. Threw me off. Uh, it did not say in the listing that it was a front flipper. I just looked at it and assumed it was, and uh, that was my fault. Not their fault. But, yeah, if you're looking at this knife, you cannot front flip it, just so you know. Um, the detent on this knife is fantastic, man. They nailed the detent on this thing. It's so good. It's unfailable. It truly is unfailable. It's kind of stiff, but, and you get two holes here, you know, one high, one low. I think I prefer the lower hole to reverse flick. I don't know. They're, they're both good. Thumb flick, not the best because of the shape of the hole. You can't really, it's hard to get your thumb in there right, so it's not really good for thumb flicking. The reverse flick's really good, and the flipper tab's really good. It is on bearings and uh, does have a ceramic ball detent. And like I said, I think it's a good looking knife. That's what drew me to it was the aesthetics. All right, let's uh, do some size comparisons here. Here is a Spyderco Pair 3. So similar in size to a Pair 3, a little bit smaller. Here is a Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. It's a little bit bigger than the mini sheepdog. Let's go ahead and do the regular sheepdog. It's kind of right in the middle of these two, honestly. Right dead in the middle size-wise. Um, here's a Kaiser Feist. Alright. Here's a uh, Didn't Co. AD 20.5. 
quite a bit smaller than the AD 20.5. Uh, here's a Benchmade bug out. Oh, wrong side. You go in this side. Here's a uh, Kavis Bladeworks variant PE2. Uh, Petrified Fish Scholar. And we'll go ahead and do the Penguin, the QSP Penguin. So that should give you a good idea on size. As far as thickness goes, it's extremely similar to a Penguin. Um, almost identical, I think. Yeah, actually it's slightly thicker, maybe a millimeter thicker than a Penguin. A liner lock penguin, that is. Um, action's really good. Really good on this knife. Um, at $50, I think it's a decent deal. But if you can pick one of these up on sale for $36, which is what I think I paid for it, it's a great deal. Um, it's, it's not, you know, it's not titanium. It's aluminum, but it has a premium feel to it because of that aluminum and the way they've done the finish on it. It is a little bit slick, I gotta say. And they've got kind of like a... Uh, I don't know what you'd call it, how they blasted this, but it has some kind of blasting on the aluminum before they anodized it. Um, liners are skeletonized to re keep the weight down. Yeah, I think it's good looking, good feeling in hand. And with that blade shape, it'll make a great user, man, with that sheep's foot blade. And like I said, the detent's amazing. Um, it's the first fox knife I've ever tried, so definitely has me uh, interested in checking out some others. In case you're curious, the model number is FE-028. It's also the Atrax. So, yeah, cool knife. Especially in the uh, $35 range. Fantastic deal for $35. I would highly recommend it. Even at $50, it's not a bad deal. Considering the materials you're getting here, it's, uh, it's a good deal in my opinion. And uh, I love the look of it and the shape of it and how it feels in hand. So I would recommend it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.